Transportation and Placing Objective of Transportation Ensure that the water cement ratio, slump or workability, air content, and homogeneity are not modified from their intended states. Prevent segregation. Avoid reducing the workability of the mix. Time ensure concrete placed with an initial setting time. Factors affecting choice of transportation Site, ground and weather conditions, type of soil, temperature Quantum of work Vertical and horizontal distance to be covered Height of discharge of mix Concrete specification related to mix type, aggregate size, and required workability Transportation equipments Wheelbarrow Truck mixers Conveyor Chutes Concrete pumps Mortar pans Modes of placing There are several modes of placing of concrete mixes available. They can be broadly classified as Fully manual Semi-manual and semi-mechanized Fully mechanized Fully manual. In this method, concrete is transported by wake away. Care should be taken that proper walkway and staging are provided for waker. For quickly, safely, and comfortably transport the concrete or mortar from batching plan to the placing point. Proper walkway on slab, if not provided, will lead to reinforcement mesh getting disturbed can also cause reduction in effective depth or cover of the slabs and shifting of bars and inserts. Semi-manual mode The concrete or mortar mix is generally transported horizontally by manual means and vertically by mechanical means such as a hoist, cranes etc. Care should be taken to give adequate slopes to the chutes required for unloading the material from the hoist onto the platform. Fully mechanized. Following type of equipment used for placing of concrete Transit mixture. It is a strong, well designed piece of equipment meant for transporting concrete, mortar from concrete batching plant directly to the place where it is to be poured. Conveyors, concrete pumps. These systems have a special advantage of transporting concrete both horizontally and vertically in one go. The pumps are available in different forms having a range of capacities and pressure. Crane and Bucket This equipment is suitable for high-rise structure. Crane is a versatile equipment which can handle concrete, steel, formwork, and other items required for construction. Concrete transportation can take place both vertically and horizontally. Precautions in transportation Transport within the initial setting time of cement. Total time The procedure of mixing, transporting, placing and compacting concrete should not take more than 90 minutes in any case. Water No water shall be lost, added. Cost The price of transportation should be as low as possible. Segregation, concrete should allowed to slide freely, and falls should be clear to prevent ingredient separation. Placing of concrete, preparation precautions. Excavations due ordered. Forms checked for adequate bracing and proper elevations and alignment. Reinforcement, tied securely and checked for proper clearance and spacing. Form work, inner face should be properly oiled for easy dish shuttering. Alignment, check center line, plumb of respective column and beam to be cast. Height replacement, do not throw concrete from height not more than 1.5 meters to avoid segregation. Pour card, sign diligently. Adequate manpower and equipment to handle the port to include a sufficient number of vibrators and backups. Placing of concrete, precautions. Concrete should be placed in layers, and compacted before next layer is placed. Thickness is 15 cm, 
30 cm for reinforced concrete and 45 cm for mass concrete. Layers are to follow fast sequence, to prevent distinct layers of separations. There should not be more than 30 minutes interval between the two layers. Placing by shoots. Concrete should move without segregation. The slope of the chute shall not be less than 1 vertical to 3 horizontal, nor more than 1 vertical to 2 horizontal. No water shall be added at any point of the chute system to facilitate movement of concrete. Concrete shall not be permitted to fall freely for a height of more than 1.5 meter.